I was so sick and tired of being told I didn't know what I was doing. I thought, I'll make a YouTube channel then. This is Stephen Box, the mastermind behind Vanguard Tactics and a leading authority in tabletop gaming. He's been paving the way wargamers approach the battlefield. His contributions extend beyond the tabletop, as he's also a respected fitness coach and mentor. Through his YouTube channel and social media, he's nurtured a thriving community, guiding them towards success and helping them unlock their true potential. However, Steven's brilliance doesn't stop at the tabletop. He possesses a physique that has captured audiences worldwide as a professional bodybuilder, in which he has meticulously sculpted his body to perfection. Is that what you really thought? That was part of what I really thought. I want to know what I also really... thought, like, who's this guy thinking who he is? He thinks all he's tough and flexing all the time. What's that all about? With such an impressive range of accomplishments, I had the privilege of sitting down with him at the bunker, where we delved into his passion for the tabletop and beyond. So, Dave. What is, what, hello. 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 What are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> okay, here's a question for you. How did Warhammer sink its hooks into you, Stephen Box? So originally, I played Lord of the Rings. I'm walking down a the street, there's a gaming shop. Yes. I think it was called like Games Workshop. You may have heard of them. It was around about the time the first movie had come out for Lord of the Rings. I hadn't read the books. I hadn't even watched the first movie yet. But I thought, oh, I'll go see Lord of the Rings. That looks a bit cooler. So I watched that instead. The manager in there, or the shop assistant, was like, hey, do you want to play some Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings. He was like, you can play this guy. His name's Aragon. I was like, maybe I knew who he was. You're like Strider, right? Yeah. And it was the Fellowship of the Ring box set where Strider had the sword out to one side. Anyway, and I was like, this game's cool. Yeah. Um, and then obviously I saw they did other games like Warhammer. And then a friend of mine was selling their Warhammer. So I just bought them secondhand. Had a Drakari army that I bought off them. And my painting was so horrifically bad. I just had to throw it all away. Mm -hmm. And then I was given the box set. And it was the one with those weird little jungle trees. Do you remember the jungle trees? Yes. So yeah, it was Drakari or, or Dark Eldar at the time versus Black Templars. Okay. But Lord of the Rings was actually the game then that I really started to play correctly. I think the game system was simpler at the time. Okay. It was a much more easy game to pick up and also I could relate a lot more to it. I believe many of us can relate to Steven in one way or another, as I personally began my own journey through Lord of the Rings. However, what set Steven apart is his unwavering commitment to Warhammer particularly through his coaching and mentoring services. He is devoted to equipping players with the tools and knowledge to attain victory on the tabletop. I love teaching. I trained as a teacher. Um, I've been coaching since I was the age of like 14. So it's always been a skill in which I've, I suppose, I've got experience in and you get better the more you do it. And I've got a lot of experience doing it. So I thought there's bound to be people like me that struggled in the early days when and even at the time I wasn't the greatest Warhammer player don't even ever percept, you know profess to be the greatest Warhammer player at all I really struggled to understand what I was doing wrong and I thought there's bound to be other people as well who are like me on that same journey they just want to be proficient at this game drawing upon his own experiences and knowledge gained from years of gameplay Steven founded Vanguard Tactics as a platform to revolutionize the way gamers approached and conquered the battlefield. I think I had like a hundred pound left in my overdraft. I was already thousands in debt. I had a hundred pound left and I spent that on a logo. And that logo was my first ever Vanguard Tactics logo. With a vision to empower players and help them unlock their true potential, he set out to provide dynamic coaching programs and engaging content that would nurture a thriving community. I was so sick and tired of being told I didn't know what I was doing that I thought, I'll make a YouTube channel then. I started what I called the mentorship at the time. And I opened up the doors and 10 people signed up for it on a Patreon. And I think for the, tw like the, the little mentorship program, I went live every other week and I discussed the topic with these people. I thought, this is awesome. This is something I want to do more of. I want to help more people. If I've helped somebody get into the game, find a local community, either form their own team or join another team of people that they're local with, that is a massive success story of my academy. I want to teach people everything they need to know to not actually need me anymore. I've always been like that with my fitness and my training. I don't want to keep people 
for any longer than they want to work with me. Driven by a desire to challenge himself and embrace a new level of personal growth, Stephen immersed himself in the world of bodybuilding. He embarked on a rigorous training regimen, focusing on building muscle mass, increasing strength, and achieving optimal physical conditioning. I, I stopped playing Warhammer. It was a, there was no local club, and I was so focused on bodybuilding at the time that it was the only thing I could focus on. Um, so this kind of weird shift happened. I started doing bodybuilding and power training to basically improve my volleyball, and then I just ended up falling in love more with bodybuilding. And it was at that time when I was teaching, I kind of started to uh, dabble a little bit more with modeling. I was walking around Abercrombie & Fitch in New York, and I was approached to go, hey, we'd love you to model for us. I was like, that's pretty cool, but I live in England, so that never really happened for me. But that was kind of like, I think a seed had been planted. Um, and Abercrombie & Fitch at the time were like, their branding was just athletes. You know, you'd go to the shop, guy on the front door is jacked and shredded, literally looks like a sanguinary guard model, you know, on the front door. And I was like, hmm, take it as a compliment. Although Stephen has undoubtedly made a noticeable impact through his achievements, it's important to acknowledge that he has faced personal challenges, setbacks, and traumatic experiences. I didn't really enjoy school very much, and I found myself kind of like, you know when you just get so worked up, you feel a bit sick, you... And I often mistaken between feeling ill to being ill to just this kind of cycle, really. I think I probably really worried my mum at the time, constantly taking me for different doctor's tests and everything else. And to be truthful, I don't really know how ill I was. I just didn't feel happy. I didn't really feel like any sense of belonging. And um, the only place I really did was at that local gaming club on a Sunday. You know, I used to go, go to like the shops, um, with a rucksack on or a backpack. But, and I'd have to so plan this out carefully because I knew I wanted to buy something, but I didn't want anybody to see me walking around with like a carrier bag from Games Workshop or something in case it triggered me like getting bullied or I don't know, just hearing those like horrible things that people used to say. So as I grew up, that, that never left me. If you're an amazing opponent, you're gonna give that person that you're playing on the other side of that table a reason to come back to this awesome game that we play and that's all I want to do is help people be an incredible opponent by being able to meet their opponent on the same level to ensure that they have an enjoyable experience because I want every single person that ever plays somebody in a Vanguard Tactics shirt to be greeted with a smile, to know I'm gonna have an awesome game against you because you play for Vanguard Tactics. That's what I want. That's what the, the legacy of Vanguard Tactics I want to become. And I want... <sighs> it's already there, man. Thanks. You just described it right now. That's something to be proud of. I think so. I really appreciate that. It's not a legacy you're building and that begins once you go. It's right now. It's in progress. Yeah. The second you paid that last hundred dollars on that logo was when it started. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's what a Spartan does. You put a Spartan in your position and then a Spartan builds what you build. Yeah. We have a Spartan in the Wargaming community. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. What do you do? It's the feelings that drive us, that make us who we are. It's the pain that forms us, that molds us into who we become. And it's the reason 
for why, when we succeed, it becomes that much more triumphant. My mind's exploding with inspiration because of the stuff that you're talking about. You know how you said you don't really feel like you've earned it if you've already got it? The crazy thing is, you already got it here and you earned it. And you continue to earn it because you got it. That's Vanguard tactics. Beyond the victories and accomplishments, Stephen's true impact lies in the inspiration he provides. He serves as a beacon of motivation, reminding us that with passion and perseverance, we can overcome any obstacle and achieve greatness. In the face of adversity, Stephen has shown us that true strength lies not only in the physical form, but also in the depths of our inner resolve. He has taught us that with unwavering dedication, resilience, and an unrelenting pursuit of our passions, we have the power to shape our own destinies. Let us forge our own paths, guided by the unwavering belief that greatness resides within each and every one of us. Thank you, Stephen, for showing us the limitless possibilities that lie within the pursuit of our dreams. You know earlier, though, you said there was a good life lesson to live by. There's no way I said that. There was one that you said, a good life lesson to a live good, by. Okay. All right, good luck. My real one. Okay. Will always be. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs>